so grateful. I love what I do, and that's what uh, the driver for me to get back. Dr. Jeffrey Davis back to looking at x-rays and seeing patients like Charlotte Donson. He is a wonderful man and a good doctor. And performing surgeries at Andrews Sports Medicine, like hip and knee replacements, to help people get back up to speed. But recently, he found himself in a rough spot. I went from a fairly robust, healthy person to somebody that couldn't stand without support. Dr. Davis spent seven weeks at UAB, back and forth from the COVID unit to intensive care. Did you realize in those moments how bad you really were? Um, I think I refused to admit that to me, to myself, because uh, I, I kept thinking I can beat this. But the reality is he had a close call with death from COVID-19. They had to do sort of an emergency intubation. They called my wife and said, look, we have to do this. Um, we don't have a choice. He's not going to make it if you don't. The virus for him that started with feeling like allergies developed into a high fever, then shortness of breath to more serious lung impacts. And this time I did not get better. I got worse over time. The, the monotony of every day deteriorating was, uh, was a little bit scary. Extremely sick and isolated from the outside world with tough conversations, not knowing if he'd make it home. I told her where our life insurance policy was and and she said, stop it. And she started quoting verses to me about, you know, I'm, I've come to give you life. And, and living life to its fullest is Dr. Davis's focus these days. Saved by God's grace, he says, with the help of health care staff, support from those close to him, and prayers from around the world. Like I've had my funeral, but I got to see it because of all the people that reached out to me and uh, told me what I mean to them. Those sentiments from patients like Charlotte Dodson, who postponed her own surgery to wait for Dr. Davis's healthy return. I knew he was going to be okay. I had faith that he was going to make it.